Imagine you're part of a heist crew and you need to break into a casino safe. How would you do it? Now, that may seem like an odd question, but malicious cyber attackers think like this all of the time. Only they're not after a safe in the casino. They're after your data. Hi, I'm Chris, and in this video, we're going to talk about why thinking like an attacker makes you a better defender. Okay, so back to that question about breaking into a casino safe. How would you do it? What would be your plan of attack? Let me introduce you to the idea of an attack tree. You and your crack team of thieves start a brainstorming session. Your ideas span a wide range of approaches and techniques. Everything from traditional and direct strategies like picking the lock or cutting open the safe, maybe more subtle tactics like somehow learning the combination, or maybe more of a long play strategy, such as ensuring the safe is installed improperly to begin with. So, how are you going to whittle down those ideas? You might look at the options for that first task in several different ways. You can view it from a possible to impossible perspective, which method or methods are going to be easier than others. You can also look at them through a financial lens. Some methods are going to be a lot cheaper than others. Cutting open the safe is probably a lot cheaper than the time and effort it would take to make sure the safe is improperly installed. After your analysis, you choose a method. You're going to learn the combination. Not surprisingly, there is a lot more than one way to achieve that goal. So you perform some evaluation of those tactics. What's the difficulty level, what's the cost, and what other factors come into play? You continue to break down different tactics and methods even further. Every time, you are evaluating the feasibility, cost, and additional considerations. Some tactics may require more than one step to execute. For example, uh, to get the combination from an identified target, you'll need to eavesdrop. You need to listen to their conversation, and then they need to actually say the combination. This attack tree could be a lot bigger and go into a lot more detail, but you get the idea. This is exactly how cyber attackers think. They're looking for the path of least resistance. Once you understand the path of least resistance, that will help you as a defender prioritize where you're going to invest in your defenses. Now, in the world of cybersecurity, you're not protecting the contents of a casino safe. You're protecting the data of airlines, banks, government agencies, tech companies, and possibly casinos. And this data is all over, not just in a steel safe. It's in the cloud, moving over the network, uh, on mobile devices, on laptops, and more. How does an attacker think about breaking into these devices? A moment ago, I mentioned that attackers are looking for the path of least resistance. A good example of that in the digital world is stolen credentials. This is an example of a simple attack tree for stolen credentials. Just like our casino safe scenario, the attacker is going to assess the difficulty and cost of each tactic and decide on their next step following the path of least resistance. Thinking like an attacker is important because it allows you to be a better defender by prioritizing those areas most likely to be attacked. Making it more expensive and more difficult for any attacker is an important defender strategy. I hope this video has helped frame your mindset as a cybersecurity professional. Remember, think like an attacker. The best defense is a good offense. For more videos like this, check out Exabeam's YouTube channel. And if you're looking for a cybersecurity solution with powerful new technology for threat detection, investigation, and response, and you want to see Exabeam in action, go to exabeam.com and request a demo.